it's up to you. You got to change the world. That's what they tell our little black boys and girls. It's like, nigga, no pressure. You got to be a success, ain't going to accept nothing lesser. But when bodies blow and heads roll, it's taking a toll. I'm having selfish thoughts of suicide. Like, God, I'm ready to go. I try to be the perfect example, educated Negro, to be like Christ I desire. I'm burning with so much passion, it's like my soul is on fire. But at the end of this carnal life, don't want to go in the fire. Face it. Haters is standing issue. Nothing grows any higher. Don't sit here and tell me racism doesn't exist. When new generations of haters take their thread up and sew in a stitch, putting in new designs in an already tarnished fabric. When Trayvon Martin was killed, how many blacks were pissed? Okay, now how many whites were pissed that the blacks were pissed that Zimmerman wasn't found guilty of killing this kid? Hate is married to fear, has a cousin named Jealousy who lives down the street from the unknown, who has a baby with Harris, he hates auntie is lust, who had his first cousin anger, but they all lead to actions with our thoughts, but now greater when they all get together and have a family reunion in society's head, they invite stupidity, kill morals so she's dead, but when love, patience, wisdom, and understanding try to intervene, hate says no, they're too demanding, practice that. Learn this, study those, persuasion keeps the mind blind, their eyes are closed. Is something wrong with this picture? And if you said no, then maybe see the doctor in the Bible, Jesus, and get well, or is it the hate family reunion party checked in your hotel? Nate, where else does hate manifest? Do, pray, tell. Well, hate is all over the world, usually follows differences. For instance, is boys and girls. Battle of the sexes, fat and fit, uh, racism's won. The old versus the young, that's always been fun. Um, the so-called smart versus the so-called dumb, the rich, the poor, the list goes on. The potential for hate is everywhere. But don't feel in despair, because the potential for love is everywhere, too. Love, hate, hate, love is a conscious decision, so you choose who this day, who you will follow or who you won't. You can choose to love God and all his creation, or you don't. And then I forget to mention that hate equals death, right? And love equals life. Yes, a very simple equation, but not many get it right. See, hate can be very strong, but searches the weakest spirits because they don't put up a fight. Tries to injure you with bitterness, frustration, aggression, and oh yeah, depression, disparity. I get so weak in the knees. Temptation. A whole host of issues we face. In Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12 through 13, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness, against spiritual wickedness in high places. 13, well, for take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Okay, class, let's recap. Add a few more variables to this math. So hate equals death, equals Satan, correct? And love equals life, equals God, correct? So God is greater than Satan? Okay, let's check. Verse 11, put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand the wiles of the devil. So he attacks your mind, not your body, with principalities and other contingencies. Put on your God-given armor, the devil will flee from thee. It's amazing the problems that stem from hate, stress, Anxiety, are you feeling okay? This is how hate functions, ah, but rates and on the playing field of eternity when your soul's on home plate for whose team will it swing? Let me reiterate, love conquers all and is greater than hate. Be hot or be cold, so again I say, choose you this day who you will follow or who you won't. You can choose to love God and all his creation or you don't. Thank you. <laughs>